Hi everybody, Mike from Atomic Mall here. This will be the first in a series of new informational videos that Atomic Mall will publish. And uh, each one of those will show a different section of our site and uh, offer a little bit of insight, information, DIY, FYI, various little tidbits about uh, how our pages work and how the various features within those pages work. So we're going to start with a new buy page and I'll try and cover as many of those new features as I can in the time allotted here for a YouTube video. Um, lately we've added a lot of new features for sellers but we really haven't put anything um, specifically for buyers on the site in quite a while and so I kind of felt it was time you know to do an upgrade and this buy page has been a project that um, has kind of been on the back burner for a while so I thought hey let's tackle it it's time to get it done so let's get right into it. The first change is that we have brought in all the categories uh, over to the left side column. Now the column will show all the root categories on the site and by expanding you can also see all the subcategories that are attached uh, to each one of those root categories. So the only page of the site that has the full spectrum of categories both on the uh, the left side also if you go up we have our drop down on all the pages but those don't have the attached subcategories. So to see those you can just click on any plus sign in that left side column uh, to expand the column and then you can go ahead and explore those those subcategories. I've nicknamed the buy page the impulse page because I feel like it's really a good jump off point for buyers who may not even know what they're looking for. I mean uh, how many times have you been shopping for something you're not really sure you know whether it be a gift for somebody or um, maybe something you even need yourself and uh, you're not really sure where to start well the buy page gives shoppers kind of that impetus they need um, you know to get started and there are a lot of features built in that uh, that make that process easier and actually kind of fun and the central feature of the new impulse page is the window shopper which has a lot of different parameters built in uh, variables that you can set to narrow your scans and uh, which will obviously affect your your scan results minimum maximum prices keywords various categories uh, you can limit your searches to items under five ten twenty dollars uh, and quite a bit more we'll get into those in a second one nice thing about the window shopper is that when you do a scan all the results are just displayed within this uh, central box area here where you, where you see the shopper uh, the whole page does not reload so that's much faster you don't have to wait for the entire page to to load and that saves on bandwidth as well uh, this frame is only showing eight results it actually contains twelve at any one time but to keep the image fairly big on the video here I'm only showing you eight and every time you initiate a scan which is done with this go button here the results will be randomized so you will very seldom get the same a set of results twice in a row. Now if your scan is fairly narrow, in other words, uh, let's say we want only items between twenty-four and thirty dollars that belong to, oh let's say automotive that are used and on sale um, with free shipping. <laughs> you see what I mean? As we narrow it down the results will be fewer and fewer. So when we do that we get no matches whatsoever. So when you get that result you'll need to expand um, your your price range you may want to take off a few parameters and try it again and then you'll you'll see the results but uh, in a situation like that where we only have eleven in the group uh... these will remain the same every time if we have a substantial number of items in our result group then the results returned will be more random and uh... the purpose for that is to keep the same content from appearing over and over again keep things fresh and new for shoppers Let's go ahead and do a real world test. I've, I've zeroed out all my parameters here, so I'm just starting from scratch. All items, all conditions, no uh, minimum or maximum price setting, and blank keywords. So I'm a theoretical buyer on Atomic Mall, and um, I'm shopping for my sister's birthday. Now, my sister, I know she loves dolphins, um, so we'll start there. I'll just type in dolphin, and uh, we'll see what comes up. I won't put in any kind of restrictive uh, limits or anything on the on the scan. I'll just type dolphin and hit go. And we get uh, 147 items in the result group. Things from necklaces to magnets to posters to DVD movies, you name it. 
Now, let's say I remember that she said that she likes jewelry. So let's narrow the search by adding a jewelry category. And we'll redo it. Now we're down to 36 items in the group, so it gives us a little bit more of a reasonable pool of listings to choose from. So now my search is starting to come into focus a little bit, and I don't want to get her a used piece of jewelry, so we'll restrict the scan to only new items. And uh, what the heck, just for fun, we'll throw in free shipping and restart the scan. That leaves us with seven items in the return group. Um, I know my budget is going to be between $15 and $30, so I'm going to go ahead and type those in. You can either type them in manually or uh, use the slider, whichever is easier for you. So we'll put in $15 and $30. Restart the scan. And we've got one item. It's a 925 sterling silver marcasite dolphin ring. Just so happens she likes rings. We can zoom in on the item to see the bigger image and get more details. We find out that there's only one left in stock. It's at Winsong's Boutique. I can click that link if I want to go to their store. $17.99. Uh, they have offers available, so uh, we can pop up the offer window. And I can send her an offer if I want. See if she'll take $15 for it. So if I wanted to do that, I could go ahead and click Confirm. The offer would be sent off to the seller. Uh, if I'm happy with the price, I can go ahead and just add it to my cart and then check out. Let's pick another scenario. Let's say I'm a shopper and I just, you know, I just want to start looking at stuff. I don't really know what I'm after. We'll start from scratch here. We'll erase the keywords. Let's say I have a maximum budget of $50. So we'll put 50 in the max price window. Go up here. And uh, let's say I want to look at uh, all the items in someone's store. I don't know whose store. We'll just pick a random store. All conditions, so we can have new and used. So we've got a range of 0 to 50. We're going to pick a random store and just see what the results are. The window shopper will go through and pick one at random. It happened to pick a store called I Do Wedding Favors, which uh, I assume has uh, all kinds of uh, wedding uh, apparel gear, supplies, so on and so forth. So they've got seven items. Eh, not quite what I'm looking for, so we'll try again. And this time we get one called Hong Kong Direct, which looks like uh, they probably have electronics items. Uh, there's an LED headlight and uh, some kind of a swimming pool tester. They've got 17 items in the group, so I can scroll down, see what they have to offer. We've got the scroll buttons top and bottom so you don't have to uh, to move the, constantly move the page up to uh, scroll back and forth. If you happen to be on top, you can use the top button. If you happen to be towards the bottom, you can use the bottom button, whichever's more convenient for you. So there are a lot of different ways you can use the Windows Shopper. Lots of configurations, lots of permutations. You know, use it, experiment with it, and uh, just have fun with it. Basically, that's what it was designed for. Some of the other options in our drop down here, besides the random stores that you just saw, the default, of course, is all items, which will give you a cross section of all listings on the site. The next one below that is one left, and these are listings that just have a quantity of one. And then below that, gift ideas, which will give you kind of an ideal launching point for your gift shopping if you are looking for that, you know, special something for that special someone. Before I close out here, I should touch on the next new feature on the page, which is the seller spotlight uh, right below the uh, the window shopper. It's down towards the bottom. Uh, every week, a seller from Atomic Mall will be featured on the seller spotlight here, and there's various criteria that we use to to choose those uh, stores, which you can see by clicking on the info link here. Uh, they get that exposure for a full week, and uh, basically, uh, if you run your store well and keep it maintained and and uh, perform great customer service you can uh, you can have a shot at being in the seller spotlight it's great exposure for your storefront uh, all the uh, drop down options are the same with the exception of the categories uh, only the categories that are actually used by that seller are displayed the other fields uh, the keywords the four check boxes are the same uh, the minimum maximum price sliders were not included because of space restrictions 
And uh, the only other change are the uh, number of items displayed, 8 versus 12 for the window shopper. It's basically like a smaller version of the window shopper. Well, that's all the time I have. Uh, be sure to check out AtomicMall.com. We're kind of a big deal. See you next time, folks. Yeah.